Happy Thursday, y'all. Hey, so little disclaimer. Do you guys remember that video I posted where I said I wasn't feeling good? So yeah, I tested positive for Corona, but I didn't tell anyone because I didn't want to post this video until I was over it because I didn't want people to be worried about me and I didn't want people to be getting mad at me. So just so you understand, I'm done with my quarantine now. I'm COVID free. Everyone stay safe, wear a mask. Enjoy the video. I know what you're thinking. I'm dreaming the same thing too. Hi, it's Jazzy Ann, and welcome back, Snacks. I'm at home right now, and I dropped out of college. I'm just kidding. I think I have corona. Today is Tuesday, September 15th. Today is actually my fourth day of being quarantined. I started quarantining on Friday in my apartment in Austin because I had been in contact with someone who thought they had corona, so I just stayed inside. And then once they got the results back, I was like, okay, I want to go home because there's been a breakout in my building. Like, so many students in my building have corona, I'm pretty sure. So then I came back home, and then Saturday, I started feeling like sh I actually haven't gotten tested yet. I'm getting tested tomorrow. I totally would have started filming this video earlier, like as soon as I started quarantining, but the past three days have literally just been me crying in my bed and being in pain and not being able to look at a phone screen or a laptop because it hurts my eyes. And last night I had a 101 degree fever, but this morning I woke up and I feel so much better. I feel like I can actually do work because I'm honestly pretty behind on school right now, but like my health is the most important thing, right? right guys right so i've like actually been quarantining in my room so this is the little system my mom and i have going so if i need something i'll call her for example hello mom and then my mom puts it on a tray right outside my door see thank you for taking care of me mama I don't appreciate my health enough, like, whenever I actually feel good. It's like the second you feel constipated, you, like, regret all of the times you didn't appreciate not feeling constipated. Like, I'm not constipated. I'm just using that as an example. Do you know what I mean? I feel better, but I'm still recovering. I don't feel like myself. I don't really want to socialize with anyone. Also, can my teachers stop emailing me every single five minutes? I understand. I have work to do. Literally, just wait a second. God it's stressing me out so much. Okay, guys, so I'm on my period as well. Man, I'm, I'm just like dying, guys. My body's in so much pain. I know most of you guys don't know me in real life, but I'm like five foot four. My little body, I can't handle all of this. This is too much. <laughs> when the rainbow rhythm start to play, dance with me. Hello. Make me play. So I tested positive. Honestly, for the way I was feeling, if I didn't test positive, something would not have added up. I'm on DoorDash right now. I'm gonna DoorDash myself some food. Now I like really can't go out, so. I'm gonna DoorDash. I'm getting breakfast from McDonald's. It's 9 a.m. I actually have like so much work to do today because I haven't been able to do any of my homework the past few days. I'm getting a hash brown, hotcakes, and an iced caramel coffee. I've actually never had their iced coffee before. So, I'm really nervous. I'm so nervous. This is kind of dumb. Now from, from the, the top, top, make it drop. That's some wet ass. All right, real quick. I want to do a little taste test of my iced coffee. Oh, I got a medium caramel iced coffee. I've just really been into caramel and iced coffees recently. I don't know. I'm a changing woman. This is what Corona does to a person, guys. No, but like, I'm not even kidding. Ever since I started college, I've actually liked coffee. I've never been that type of person before. I'm changing. Okay, it tastes fine. Um, I, okay, I can't tell if it's just cause um, like I don't feel the best, but I don't really taste the caramel or the coffee. You know what? Probably cause I don't feel very good right now. <laughs> Sorry guys, that was an awesome review. So with all of this said, I know I can be a little silly and goofy sometimes. I'm not trying to invalidate or like discredit the way anyone's reacting to coronavirus. Everyone reacts differently and I'm so fortunate to be young and healthy enough to where it's not like really hurting me, you know? And I'm not showing 
sharing all of like the negative parts about it. Um, I don't want you to think that I'm like being naive about it or that like I'm not acknowledging how serious it is. My mindset is that if I'm going to be spending two weeks in isolation in my room, I might as well make the most of it and not just dwell constantly and be sad about it. But also keep in mind, there's going to be so many times off camera where I'm probably going to be in my bed, not feeling good, calling my mom to come upstairs and help me, please. Do your homework like you're supposed to. Or do it outside in the burning heat. Okay, but also my mom made me a sandwich and some grapes for lunch. Look how yummy this looks at the side of the pool. I'm really getting spoiled. Thank you, mama. Don't look at my eyebrows. I need to get them waxed. So, with being in quarantine, one of the biggest feelings that I felt recently has been me feeling ugly. I've looked at the mirror a lot of times this week and I'm like, I don't really like what I see. If there's things I can do to make myself feel better about myself, I'm going to do it. This TikToker yodeling Haley, say so girl. I think she's so cool. I just love her personality. I think she's such an awesome girl. I wanna be her friend. I think she's doing like soap brows. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, soap brows is literally taking a bar of soap and taking a spoolie to shape your eyebrows and it looks really really cool and I want to try it because I've never tried it before and I think it'll be cool so I'm kind of nervous because I just now watched a tutorial I've never used this before on my body she said that the bar of soap needs to be clear and this is not clear so hopefully it'll work and it doesn't look like I have white eyebrows so first thing I'm gonna do brush out my eyebrows okay I'm taking this bar of soap I'm wetting it and I'm just putting soap on it and then um I think this is it this is like all you do you just use it to brush it up oh I mean there's other steps later do you guys care about this I think this is cool and interesting and fun so sorry if this is not interesting content for my two-week quarantine I don't I'm bored I can't go out of my room okay wait I kind of like it it's just like up that's it that's all that changed I love it awesome okay now the next eyebrow I does it make a difference guys I don't know I don't like what I see so that's good enough for me. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I think it makes such a difference. Is there a difference? Do you see any difference? Oh my god, is it worth this much work for this? Maybe this would look really good on people who want thicker brows who don't already have thick brows. So grab some soap, guys. Try this at home. Get clear soap and make sure you already have you haven't already put it on your body. You don't want your eyebrows to smell bad. So now that that part is done, I'm gonna be taking this eyebrow pencil and I'm just gonna be filling in the ends. I like the way it looks. I think it looks cool. Yay! And those are soap brows, guys. Now that that's done, I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup and then we'll get on to the second part of changing up my look. Okay, so little life hack for mascara. Before I put on mascara, I like to put a little bit of Vaseline on my eyelids. Like just a just a tiny bit because it's almost like a primer for your lashes. And then you just put the mascara like right on top. And I think it makes a difference. Also, another life hack. I used to never wear eyeliner, and whenever I'm going out my day to day, I never wear this thick. I was always just so bad at eyeliner. So I got this pencil. It's the Bad Gal Bang pencil, and it goes on so softly. I love it so much. It's so easy to apply, and it's brown. I got it in brown because, I don't know, like, I already have really dark eyes. I have dark eyebrows. I have really dark hair. Even though I dyed it, I feel like the brown just makes more sense because the black is just so dark so I like the brown I think it kind of just adds a little bit of flavor to my look but it's not like you know black works for some people but I think it'd be too dark for me you know you know For the next part of this whole look thingy, I'm gonna be spending a little bit of time 
on my hair. There was this trend that went around for a little bit where people were putting like beads in their hair. They were braiding their hair and putting little beads all along the side. I thought it was so freaking cute, but I never did it. I have way too much energy for 4 a.m. So if you wanna recreate this look, all you're gonna need are some rubber bands, some beads, you're gonna need some beads, and some Vaseline. I actually don't have Vaseline with me, so I have Aquifer and it's like the same exact thing. I said the same thing. So I'm going to do three different braids. So I'm pretty sure grab your braids. Do this with me. Boys, you too. I have to put the bead through this. So I'm going to take the Vaseline and I have to put it on the end of my hair. So I'm going to put the bead in. Holy crap. This is so difficult. Okay. I figured it out. You don't need Vaseline. You need water, which makes a lot more sense. Sorry. So I have to take this piece of hair, dip it in water. It's supposed to be like soaking wet. My hair is curly. This is hard. I got it on. I had to cut a little piece of hair off, but that's besides the point. Okay. And then I just start braiding. Yes. I finished. It took me so long. Literally took me so freaking long. But I think it looks really cute. I like it. I think it's so fun. And there's no way that they're gonna come out anytime soon. I got little braids. Don't be surprised if I end up doing this to my hair like every single week. I can still wash my hair though without taking the braids out. So also, don't think I'm not showering all of a sudden, please. Braids, bitch. Overall, this is really time consuming and I'm not even gonna lie. There were a few times where because my hair is so curly, I had to cut a tiny bit of the ends so it was easier to put the bead through. It was really time consuming, but I think it was worth it because I think it's really cute. <laughs> Another suggestion is to shave your whole body. Sorry if that sounds a little weird, but hear me out. Literally any time in the past where I felt kind of like, eh, just because I'm sick or I just don't feel very good, I shave. And it makes such a difference, including the cooter. But I have a lot of young viewers here, so I don't need y'all worrying about that yet. You know if you gotta worry about that. I don't wanna give anyone the wrong idea. Also, I cannot display me shaving my entire body. I'm not gonna do it. But I want to give you my shaving routine because recently I started using different products and let me tell you, it makes a difference. I don't even know if this is like a quarantine vlog anymore because I'm just talking about all of my feminine care. <laughs> Any boys watching this, you're welcome to stay. You know, like maybe you want to shave. My brothers had to shave for swim meets. That's the difference different story though. So I actually got all of this inspiration from a TikTok. First thing I do whenever I shave is I obviously wash my body. My body wash is irrelevant. Then I take this coconut colada sugar shea scrub and it's literally just, it's just a scrub you rub across your body. It gets rid of the dead skin and it makes a difference. Then I take this EOS shaving cream and I never expected to like this product because I actually get allergic reactions to their chapstick. So I thought it'd be a fantastic idea to rub their shaving cream all across my body. Thankfully, I didn't have an allergic reaction. Do y'all want to see? I put that on my legs. Yada, 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 yada. I shave. Oh, and fun fact. This is a men's razor. I always get this blue pack of men's razors from Galette because one, they're very inexpensive. Two, men's shavers just shave better. They just do. All feminine products are so expensive, like all the time. So I'm like, I'm shaving. It doesn't matter what I use. So then I shave, da 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 da. Once I'm done shaving, if I decide to shave the little coop, I put this after because it makes it soft. Oh, this is so I'm sorry. It helps though. You don't want to like shave your body and then not put like any moisturizing lotion on. Like that's dangerous. That's a dangerous game to play. But I apply this extra virgin coconut oil. It makes such a difference. Recently on my legs or wherever I shave, I've started applying baby oil. And 
and I only apply it after I shave. I don't treat this like lotion. If you go in the sun with baby oil on, it'll burn your skin. So I just, I only do it after I shave in the shower and it makes such a difference, guys. I do that instead of lotion. I love it. It makes my skin so soft and smooth. That is my shaving routine. Wow. For this last little section of the video, feel free if you want to stay. I'm going to talk about how COVID felt in my body specifically. Every single person reacts differently, just like any other sickness, like any other person would react differently to getting, like I have worse headaches compared to the average person. It's just like a part of my body. And also I'm extremely fortunate to be young and healthy enough to not have to worry about my recovery process if I were to get COVID. But even though this video is fun, Corona is not fun. And it's something that you do not just willingly want to get. I didn't film the first like five days of me getting corona just because I was literally like sleeping in bed, struggling to do homework. For me in my body, it felt like just a very bad flu. I had high fever a few nights in a row. I had really bad headaches, but typically whenever I'm sick with anything, I get a headache with it. Like it sucks so much. I get really, really bad headaches. I was also having body ache. Um, so I, it was just kind of hard for me to get up sometimes. I felt very weak. And like overall, I know some people who had corona who like were sick for one day and then they like recovered. Mine was a slower a slower recovery process over I think four, four days. By the fifth day, I was feeling well enough to like actually get up and do work and live like a regular day. The thing about not feeling good though, like we take our health for granted so much because if you have like, if you have consistent days back to back of not feeling good you don't feel like yourself i felt very sad i was getting i was starting to get a little bit depressed because it's hard to just be alone in your room it's hard to just be alone in general like at home i remember there's this day where i just felt so ugly and so gross just like every single bad feeling was piling on top of each other on top of me already not feeling well health like health wise the whole day i was just like i hate myself i hate myself like i, I hate this oh, da, da, da. and I was like, I'm so ugly. Like, no one likes me. Like, I was being so self-deprecating because, like, that's what my mind immediately turned to because I was just, like, I felt so bad. So, <laughs> with all of that said, that's how I reacted. I, I don't want to scare anyone. I just kind of wanted to talk about it because, like, I had always been, I, I don't know, I had personally always been curious about what it felt like or, like, what it was like from other people's perspective who had had it because I, I don't have, I don't really have a lot of friends who have had it but the good thing about quarantine is I got a lot of time to spend by myself I, I'm a pretty independent person so it was nice to like have some time myself however you feel about corona you're so entitled to and whatever you want to do to protect yourself or others awesome go for it wear a mask you should always wear a mask because if you don't even if you don't believe in masks it's common courtesy also another plus is I got my mama's cooking my mom brought me food you know after eating at the dining hall and like bowls from Target for a while. Having some home cooked meals was very, very yummy. It felt very good. My quarantining is almost over. Two weeks goes by a lot faster than you think, especially if you still do school. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this week's video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below to be part of the snack pack because I post videos every single Friday. Also, make sure you follow me on all my social media because I'm always posting somewhere. Um, I'm sorry if I'm like awkwardly quiet. I'm in this long ass hallway and I don't want to be too loud. So, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Can I go now? When every time I find a place I'm dreaming and nothing else I find I can believe in Where can I go when all I've ever gone is home?